Welcome. Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show today. And our excellent adventures. There you go. <laughs> we are uh, at Bentley's uh, over in Maine. Uh, we made it to Maine, so. It's a bar, it's a campground, it's a hotel, motel. Holiday Inn. <laughs> it's got a little bit of everything. So uh, we came over for the ride. It was escorted by the police. Uh, actually, it was a very decent ride. Uh, we were pretty close to the front. Uh, probably, I counted we were about 25 back. Yeah, and got closer and closer because uh, when we first came out of town, it was all, uh, they had all the streets blocked off by patrol cars. But once we got into around the lake and got out, we lost those cars. So then the two police officers we had kept staggering back and forth the streets. And then sometimes guys would, would take your place and then they'd speed up to it and get in the front again. Yeah. So overall it was pretty good. We went through two construction sites. First one we didn't have to stop, second one we had to stop. Well, because the police weren't up there. If they would have saw the police lights coming, they probably would have just sold us a And the worst thing about it all was these two people that kept pulling over, which I guess they see the lights, they didn't know. Once they pulled over, they can't get out. There was probably, I don't know, a couple hundred bikes, maybe a hundred more. At least a hundred. Yeah, and, it was a, it was uh, a pretty nice good ride. ride. Uh, you know, we've been on rides where it's, you know, slamming your brakes on, going, slam. Only time it really got bad was when we made turns. Uh, we made quite a few turns. And I guess some people can't make turns as good. Uh, you know, if you're not a real experienced rider in a ride like this, you should ride in the back. Because then that way, if you're not, you know, you can go a little slower, you can go things like that. And because when you're doing rides, you don't want to get that big space between you. Gaps. Because that's how cars cut in front of you and all that. And I don't, from what we could see, we never seen that happen in this ride. But, uh... Everybody kept pretty close together. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know when they should move up or move over or things like that. So that turns into a problem, too, because you end up having a pretty good space between those bikes. We should do a video on that and talk about, uh, riding... How to account. ride in a group. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I know a lot of people talk about it, you know, we, I think we did a little one on it once before about it, but, you know, probably should do one before you have a rally like this, because here they have a lot of bike rides. We had live yesterday, uh, had one come through, uh, we drove through there today, so the same people got to see it twice. So that was pretty neat. And, uh, make sure they can hear it's okay, there was a lot of noise. And this was not scheduled, good. but we told you yesterday, if we had internet, we would come on. So we got to make sure that the old hotspot works, <laughs> and uh, got good internet. And, and nobody will steal it. I can steal it. So no, that nobody else will steal it from us. And I do have my sunglasses. I can't see this right there. Uh, pretty big place. We actually ordered food today, and uh, was everything hot. was hot. <laughs> Didn't wait too awful long. Uh, I mean, I had a hamburger. You had a cold pork. It was good. And, oh my uh, gosh, good coleslaw. The guy next to us had fish or ch chicken, chicken tenders. Uh, give you a lot of fries and stuff. They were hot. Yeah. Uh, he liked his chicken. He said, and uh, so stuff. yeah, so food was pretty good here. Uh, they said this guy used to race cars. He was a NASCAR or something there. Yeah, that's what I. That's what somebody had said. I don't know if it was on one of our lives or something. <coughs> we had a whole seven people on. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm one of them. <laughs> so we'll six. see uh, how it turns out here. But uh, what's her name? The girl going to sing? Oh, Jasmine Kane. Yeah, it's going to be going on anytime soon. If she goes on, we'll probably get off. Uh, she won't be able to hear because she's going to be behind us. So. Uh, uh, the crowd's kind of died down since we got here. When I walked out to the parking lot, a lot of the bikes were gone already. Because uh, it was. It took us about two hours to get here. It's supposed to be around 70 miles. I don't know. We're not familiar with the area, so we all we did is came from Laconia. It was not as the crow flies. We so, went, yeah, all the from Laconia, we went around the lake and all the way to the, the top end and then went over. And I think they went the way we would have came from. I think we're closer to where we're staying versus going back to the city. See, that's what I thought. But when we looked the well, other when we night, looked, they wanted you to go down to Laconia and then over no, to here. They wanted you to go down to Laconia and then go farther south yet and then come up. That's the route that Google put on there last night. But when I did it from Warren, it wanted us to go over to the top of the lake, kind of probably where we were kind of like yesterday, and then straight over to what's the city we're in? Ar Arendale. So, so far, we, this year, we have hit in three corners of the United States. So, if we hit Washington on our way back home from Sturgis, we've been to all four corners of the U.S., continent U.S. Would have never dreamed I would have ever done that. And actually rode our bikes in every uh, one of those corners. Yeah. So far. I'm I was going to say in every state. I, I was so mad we missed Delaware, because, I mean, we would have hit all the East Coast states except Delaware. So it's kind of neat, and, uh, and then we're going to go across 
you know, from here we're going to leave the Sturgis on Monday, and we'll go all the way across the top of, we're going to run down the 90. Uh, a few of you have already contacted us and let us know uh, where you're at. But most of the time you're going to have to come to us because we don't unhook uh, the trailer. So if you guys want to come by and see us or... And we did get to meet Bentley, thanks to Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I told him who you were and he knew who you were right away. That's and right. Said, so it's pretty oh neat. So gosh. we got him. He's going to do our video probably tomorrow morning. He'll yeah. do the shout out. We wanted to get some pictures of the girls here, but they're all for a bar that's just covered with bras inside. These girls are very well covered up. <laughs> so anyway, don't know about that, but I, so I don't know. If we're gonna, I, like, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to find a girl. Let's we'll go out front and see if we can find a girl out by the motorcycles but for a thumbnail. Today. So did you guys watch the video today? We're interested in, and nobody's even writing comments, huh? No. Uh, if you like that style five. of video. So what we did was yesterday's video, it came out early this morning, I changed my mind. Uh, Amazon Aladdin has been doing really well putting videos out first thing in the morning. Actually doing a lot better than we are. So I moved mine up, which actually if you do a search, uh, Racer X told us uh, last, this, that when I was talking to him, he Rider said, X. Rider He's X. He's on now. He says, oh God. And if you do a search, we're the only two that are coming up, which there's, there's nobody. There's other YouTubers here, which I have no idea who they are. I see cameras running around. Some people just do it themselves. Well, see, know. a lot of them don't do it till it'll be a week or two from now. Yeah. They'll put a video out. That's over by then. But I mean, you can do a better video. You know, you should look. Those that do that should have a higher quality video than what we put out because Rider X was set up last night till 1130 talking to me. And uh, I had to edit after that. Actually, it went really well. I think we were, what time did we go to bed? It was about 1230. When I set the alarm for seven, it said we had six and a half hours of sleep. So I don't know what time we got on. Maybe we got up before 11. Uh, but it ended pretty quick. It went pretty good. No real problem. And uh, so it's a little different video than we normally do because we give you some more riding. Mm. We had soda. Yeah. It's not tea. It's and uh, so it was a little different, a lot more riding in that video than rally stuff. Yeah. So you have to let us know if you like that. Today's video is going to be like that because it'll come out tomorrow. It's going to be on this Bentley. It's going to be the ride coming over from Laconia. Uh, it's also going to show you... Some stuff down at Weir Beach before yep, we left. People lining up and all that. And dang it, they had the... The hill hill, climb. The hill climb for the antique bikes. I got pictures of the antique bikes, but it didn't start till after we left, so we didn't get any that's, pictures of that. That screwed there. But I, they used to be a minutes. dirt hill. That's where they originally did all the racing at. Didn't know that. Somebody was telling me. And so we met a guy that's a local. If we ever come back, He's gonna set us up with the mayor and the chief of police and all this. So, look at his first name. I don't know what his name is. Ron. I think it was Ron. I seen him. He's like, oh, he says I met you in Daytona and I won the first point slide you gave away. Ron. Ron. Ron and Cindy. Cindy. I don't lose it. That's his card to call him. So now we just have to find somebody that can put us up closer <laughs> to the action. And because, we greatly appreciate Ryan. Yes. And he, he offered it again next year that we could do it. But the only way we could do this again is we have to be closer because we can't stay at night with all the animals and stuff running on the road. We're thinking Friday night we I might stay a little till nine o'clock. That's late for us. The and only then one talking. Back. We got 19 on it says, but we're the only one talking. It's like how long you guys been on? Not very, like five minutes. minutes. Uh, we just started. Yeah. So it wasn't scheduled. It's when we have rallies like this, I can't really. But well, once again, we had no idea we had internet here. Uh, our phone sucked. Uh, Verizon didn't have anything. We had good down, but up on our T-Mobile didn't do nothing. AT&T is really good, and uh, that's what we're running on. They have, in, so they have in-house here, yes. which is sometimes it's good to do. But we were at one. Of, we were at oh, we were at uh, Twin Peaks, and we, they kept going in and out. Oh yeah. And uh, was I don't that know the why. one in Myrtle Beach? Or was that the one? In Port I think it was the one Charlotte. in Port Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. After that, I went back to just using our hotspot yeah. instead of using their stuff. Because it was funny because Verizon wouldn't work. I had great service, but it wouldn't, the stream yard wouldn't pick it up. So we're not on Facebook. This is only YouTube coming up with this. Uh, just because it's easier. I, we can't put your comments or nothing up. But I can hear Ooh. Jasmine Kane's going to be coming on. on from Italy. We didn't know if we're going to be able to. How, how long will we can be on? on? Once she starts playing, she's just. The other side of the is where she's at, and uh, is so she yeah. taking a break or I don't know. I think they're slow getting started. Start she might not be here. I haven't seen her. I've seen her van walking around. Uh, uh, pulls her stuff in the trailer. Is Trailer's here. up. When we pulled and, in, I said, Oh, Jasmine Kane's gonna be here today. So we did that, uh, which is really funny here when I, I pass out a bunch of cards last night of the day. 
and about 75% of people we hand a card to have seen our channel already. I'm like, why aren't you watching us? I said, oh, we only watch you when, you when we need to go to a rally or something like that. So we're definitely going to have to bring out more content. You know, like I said, we got a lot of these training videos coming up soon. We got a lot of factories we're going to be hitting. Uh, so you can actually see the people that, are, that make the stuff. Uh, some of them we get to see behind doors. Some of them they can't do it because of trade secrets. And we understand that. But to be able to talk to people, we even maybe be able, and I said it already the other day, somebody from way up, a COO of Harley Davidson, may be coming on a live soon. Uh, it's in the works. So, once again, that's what we want to do is, is, you know, I can tell you anything, but it doesn't mean it's true. So, everything we do, we try to do everything humanly possible to give you what's really going on. Not nothing that I'm just pulling out of my butt or something I just made up or something like that. And there's a lot of that on YouTube. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there. People tell you stuff. And you know, it's like everything. Commercials on TV is like that. They tell you, oh, take this magical pill and you'll be a million dollar man. You can and, lose 30 pounds in yeah. two weeks. Yeah. If you take this, <laughs> put that tapeworm in your stomach and let it chew you up for a while. But no, there's no miracle thing like that. So there's there's a lot of this false advertising. But in, in you know on YouTube, there really isn't anything. I guess if somebody told you to do something and you did it and you got hurt, you probably could do something to them. But that's why we always tell you, when we don't like some place, we tell you, that's, a, that's our opinion. You might go to the place just like the Badlands. A lot of you love going to the Badlands. To me, it's not my cup of tea. Been there twice. It ain't worth my time. It wasn't 90 miles right. Ninety miles riding out in the middle of, like riding in the desert. There's nothing to see between there. We live in the desert. That's why. And driving around out there, there's nothing out there. You know, well, I mean, some people want to see the rocks. You know, I guess if you lived here, you know, you see all the green and the trees, trees and stuff. And I'm not. Since we lived in Missouri and stuff, I'm not overly impressed with the scenery. Yeah, I guess. Uh, there's a lot more of it here, but it's very similar to what we see. Oh, it sounds like Jasmine Kane's coming on. We'll see how loud she gets. And uh, so, but I mean, it's still a really nice area up here, but the part that sucks here is the speed limit. Most of the around here, it's 35, 40 miles an hour. And there's no reason it can't be 50 or 55 miles an hour on most of these roads. There's nobody, I guess there's driveways and stuff, but I mean, we've never, you know, if you're, if you got a street that's along one of these highways, you should be backing your freaking car in, not pulling it out straight. Well, and it's also... Or you should be backing, backing in and pulling out straight. It's, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Talking about people driving. Speed limits. I forgot. One. Brad Fink says he thinks you're being more aggressive when you're talking now. No, I am. <laughs> you think that was a good All these women that meet me, they say, you're so confident, you're so confident. I don't know. I guess well, I, was, she can't, I was always the most outspoken one of my friends. I she can't think ahead. So, like, if we're talking about something, it, she can jump in and say something, but to carry on the conversation, she needs to kind of think about what she wants to say. So she like, can't. he can always, if somebody says something smart, I like to him, he can come back like that. But I think, like, the next day, I was like, oh, I should have said this. I can't, it's, it doesn't come to me that quick. All right, we'll turn. We'll go outside here. Maybe they'll turn the DJ up. We'll move over here because I know you guys probably can't hear us now. <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll move around here a little bit. So there, you guys get to hear a little Jasmine Kane. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so how'd you, like, how'd you like Jasmine? Well, it looks like I need to clean the camera off. It's going to get funny here. i got to get my shirt up clean the... Looks like the camera was getting... It still kind of looks fuzzy. Yeah, well, it's probably the light behind us. Maybe. Kind of hazy. Yep. Okay. People over there playing... What is that? Jumanji? What do they call that? The, the oh, thing with uh, the sticks? Jenga. There you go. You can see way over there in the corner. Yeah. 
So, yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, find my Kind of got an in-between now. You got music playing over here from the, they got serious Radio going on in the bar. <laughs> right, Rex says everybody looks really bored. Well, it's been a, you know, most of us, we rode that two hours to get here. You poked me in the eye when you cleaned up the lens. Oh, I thought I poked you in the eye. No. That's what Ryder X said. You poked him in the eye. Now put the sunglasses on. So, Mike, Mike Alb is says he's French. My maiden name is Marquis. So I'm somewhat French. In, in a distant life. <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, you know, what's too bad. This, this is kind of a neat place over here. Uh, they got some vendors out here, and you'll see that on the video tomorrow. Uh, they got a handful of vendors over here. Nobody special. They got people selling some shirts. I wanted to get a shirt. They got one here that says... Uh, oh, Neil's on. Neil made it. Holy Jennifer Jupiter's. Unscheduled again. But uh, I want to let you know. I want to get a t-shirt here. They got a t-shirt that... Uh, I don't know if you've seen that guy. It said... It's a little guy. Looks like he's screwing something. And it says... It's supposed to be like... Huck it. We're, we're going to Bentley's. Oh. And uh, it was kind of a neat shirt. The guy, One of the guys had it on this morning. Did you put the guy's shirt on that I saw the other night? No, and I, said, I figured I'd save it. Okay. There's yeah. a neat t-shirt I saw at I Octane. And I, the guy was standing there, so I just filmed this back. <laughs> he doesn't even know I filmed it. So, well, we're going to have a lot of videos after we leave here of uh, some of the action here that we didn't we didn't put up. Uh, actually, the last two videos got a little longer than I normally do. And uh, so we'll see how it's doing. I didn't even look to see how oh, the video... Maybe Neil, Neil must have emailed or texted us. He, his, because I saw his name come up, but he's not on the live. Oh. So I can't text him because he's on that phone. <laughs> what are you looking for now? I was looking to see how the, the video, it sucks. It's not doing very good. I don't understand. You'll never figure it out. No, I can't. Those are your cards. I got mine in my pocket. So, not I, cards. I'm going to pick a card, any card. And, uh, He's checking his uh, thing to see. How many people are watching videos? They're watching longer. Got a good click rate. Uh, so it's 29 people on now. 19 thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. So, right Rex, you have Neil's phone number. Text Neil and tell him we're on live because he just texted us on the phone. But I can't. We're using the phone to do the live, so I can't text him back. Laconia is 10 miles that way, 3 miles that way, and 4 miles that way. It's just really, must be an oddly shaped town. Because, it's just, I don't know. You can get to it from no matter where you're at, I guess. There, I miss him. Okay, Elizabeth's he on. Hi, Elizabeth. Debbie Mike's on. Weather looks nice. So far, man, I've been praying every day for nice weather and every night. So is he, he should come on in a few minutes. It looks like he just did it. Okay. So, anyway... It's uh, nice weather, so we're at Bentley's, Deb and Mike. I think they're the ones that told us to come out here, too. And, uh... I got sunburned. I tried to put stuff on him this He's gotta go, gotta go. Leave me alone. You go lining up. And then you forgot to put the camera on the bike, and he had to turn off the bike, jump off the bike, get the camera, get back on. So, anyway. Uh... One more button, and this is a. Oh. Oh, I can snap it up. There, is that better? Try because you were bending over. Oh, I guess. I don't know. Showing the twins. Why? Because you're a sexy mama. Put makeup on today? Yes, I did. Put sweating it off. I don't know. He says all the time. I don't care if you wear makeup or not. And then he says, Jason, you put any makeup on today? <laughs> yes. You said it didn't matter. You always tell them that, right? It's like, do these pants, pants make my butt look big? Yeah. And who's going to tell you, yeah, they make your butt look bigger? <laughs> I tell her the truth. That's safe for work. <laughs> if it's what it is. 
They're all laughing at us. There you go. And uh, wait till you hear about my wood joke we're gonna have. We're gonna do an intro about wood. Do I know it? Yeah, because you asked why I wanted to stop there. The other day, place of oh. waters, and I said I want to do an intro from there. I get it. But now they're talking there might be might be rain here Friday, but who knows. So tomorrow we're going to try to do the long ride, the Cucamonga ride on there. That's supposed to be the best ride here. And if we have time, we're going to go up the mountain. It's tomorrow that other thing that I wrote to see if we could go to, and now they told us to call them. That's tomorrow too, I think. Oh, is it? I don't know. There's just, it's, it's getting to that point where there's a few days left and a lot of stuff still going on. Because I guess there's a... Uh, Another hill climb race. It's put on by the gypsies, I guess. And I texted them and asked them if they give away any media passes, because I think it's 20 bucks a person to get in. And uh, they wrote back and said, call this person. But did you see where that was? Halfway here, it said that's where that gun something was at. That's gun where stock? those races. Yes, that's where those. That's where those races are going to be at. I have no idea where. I it know was, that's where it is, but I. It was past where we got ice cream at down that road so it's pretty far pretty far away i think tomorrow is tomorrow also the uh antique no it's thursday no i don't know there's so much going on different stuff so i guess i brought your thing What's uh thing? was a must visit place like everyone was telling you yeah it's pretty cool yeah um, it's pretty neat i it, it probably gets to be a really crazy wild bar here. Probably more at night than during day. And we're here in the middle of the week, too. So probably a Saturday here or Sunday would probably be the best Saturday. time to be here. I mean, it's, it is a neat bar. It, it's probably the, the neatest place we've been since we've been up here. Um, Elizabeth, we're probably not going to go to Lake of the Ozarks this year. Nope. But maybe next year. We'll see. He likes bikes, food, and barbecue. And if we do that, we might as well do Lake of the Ozarks. They're back well, to that, back. That's what they are. Bikes, food, and barbecue this year is like in October well, or November. Oh, yeah, not this year. But we're not going this year. So it'll be next year. So we'll so, have to see how the rallies. We'll have to, have to see how gas is going to be next year and all that. All, there's a lot of things on the table for next year. So we'll know more like we did the last this year. In January, we kind of posted, let everybody know, here's our plans for 2020. Here's what we're doing, it's 2022. Yeah. So, right yes. When I saw the owner, I told him the code word and he knew exactly who I was talking about. So, it worked. So, we were the first one. So, we are probably the only ones that get to use the code word. So, uh, That he, girl would be did. worth filming, but she's not very pretty. Well, true. I'm looking for model thumbnail quality. We have a line that you have to pick. So we gotta find the right girl and to get on. So the day was just cute, so I put her on. Uh, we had a couple different. Well, you watch the video, you seen there was a couple choices there. The girl that I really wanted just didn't pose good enough for our video. I thought she had done a better job, but well, she was moving so much. I mean, I was taking pictures and then I was like, try again, because you know they pose and then I'm trying to take the picture. My stupid camera won't take a picture, and then by the time I take it, then they move and it's like. Anyway, I do. I do my best. Are you so, tired? Yeah. Didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, you got a long ride home. I don't know. It may not be as bad. I, I think we're going to be closer leaving here. So let's see. Directions to right, Rex, war. Give everybody the code word, and then you'd have to kill them. Uh, I think the Gumby girl was confused. She, was. <laughs> I, she had her own little booth over there. I think she was selling stuff. Oh, was she? was gummies. <laughs> Don't eat the gummies. Uh, maybe that's why she had a gummy, because she was selling gummies. Could <laughs> be. Uh, so, yeah, Devin, Mike, everybody no, keeps It's 100 us. miles from here. So Two and a half going? hours. We're stopping somewhat halfway. You think? Oh man, I was. We gotta go over to the, I don't know if we can get from here to the beach or not. I don't know. We're right not that far. I don't know. I guess you barely can't get to the water here. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we're stopped. We're stopped right there in Ondale. We we'll go up to the one whole Orchard Beach. Let's see what that is. <laughs> not those fun. Distance to, have to Old try some Orchard ones. Beach. 
I know, I think everybody that writes in Tam, it changes it to Pam. Because a lot of people, when I see they write stuff, it always says Pam instead of Tam. So I think it's your. Well, some people put down Bill, too. Like Bill and Ted's. And so, you know, we don't care. As long as you watch us, we don't really care what you call us. But Devin Mike anyway, yes, we heard that they only allow motorcycles one day a week, but no one seems to know what day of the week We're suspecting is. it's Thursday, but, but that's, that's when uh, Harley's taking up bikes. But we really, after we, well, one, we're closer to the, the, right there we're to up state. there. So we're, we don't really want to come. So originally I was planning on doing that on Thursday. And a good barbecue in here. Oh, it's a misters. Oh, they have Mike, misters. is it raining? I see misters. rain. In a high humidity place with misters. How good is that? Put some more moisture in the air. That's what he was saying because that's when the dealership does their ride up. So we're suspecting that's the day. Could be other days too. I don't know. Somebody told us today that we were sitting next to. Said the only bad thing up there is they have a lot of tour buses <laughs> that go up there and they come racing down that hill like a bat out of hell. And they're the ones that come over lines and stuff. And because uh, they want to see how many tours they can drag up and down that mountain, I guess. So. I don't know. We'll see. We want it. That's on the list, but we have to do the long ride for sure because they said that's the ride to do. So we definitely want to get that done. If we don't go up the mountain, it probably like the guy we sat with today said it's. He said it really wasn't any different than any other mountain that you've gone up. So I don't know. I've never think, really gone straight up the mountain. No, it does go around. He said it went around. Oh. It's not straight up. So it'd be like safe there. Yeah. I don't that's know longer what. Longer than eight miles. Yeah. I don't know what uh, the height of that is. He had, guess what he had? The height? I had pulled uh, pork. Big bear. Uh, oh, so yeah. Big bear is 6,700 feet when we go up there. Yeah. So, 6,700 feet. So, it really isn't much different than us probably going up Big Bear. There's not. some sharp Ooh, turns there, wet. too. Some uh, sharp turns there, too. So, yeah. it may not be... It's daring for us because Cheese we've ridden on mountains. And bacon. What? Somebody's said, bacon? No, he said he right next to know what we had for lunch. I said, guess what he had? And well, I, had I just before. usually when you come to a bar like this, it's always safe to get a hamburger. It was all right. It wasn't one last, yesterday actually from the the convenience store was better than this one. Oh really? The fries were better here though. So and, yeah, I had a hamburger with cheese and bacon and ketchup. And because uh, a lot of times you get barbecue, they ends up being they got like peppers and stuff, and it's too oh, this spicy. Is really good. And uh, so Coleslaw it's like. Coleslaw was to die for. Yeah. Mm. So. I like the coleslaw. Probably ninety six percent of the time he gets hamburgers. No. Yeah. That's where we eat at. We go to Arby's, they get roast beef. If we go to McDonald's, we get square fish from the square lake. You go to Chick-fil-A, you get chicken. That's right. But if you go any regular restaurant that has a menu... Well, I would have had barbecue night. sandwich the other day. They didn't have any. I almost would have got pizza yesterday. I'd rather probably would have been better off with the pizza. But then the girl was really pushing that cheeseburger because I think that's their special of the day. And when that cheeseburger was gone, she was out of there. Because before we sat down to eat, she was going out the door. So, anyway. Uh, you're in Maine, you're supposed to have lobster, clams, gallons. They have Maine lobster here. You get two whole lobsters every day for 35 bucks. Some girl must have got something. She got it in a bucket and she was That's taking what it pictures. Said. And she lobster kept in a bucket. Pictures. Yeah, so. So you can come here and get the lobster. I was thinking about if lobster? they had, no, if they had clam chowder, I was going to maybe taste it. Because I think if I remember right, some place in St. Louis at Noah's Ark, they brought out a pot of soup. I was with my mom and dad, I was little. And you all got to eat the soup and we were eating it and it, we thought it was potato soup. It was white and it had little chunks in it. And we ate the whole darn pot. And my dad's like, that was really good potato soup. And they said, oh, that was clam chowder. So I have had clam chowder before. And it wasn't bad. She's tasted it before too. But you didn't like it when we've been in California. But I like the white, not the red. So, so tomorrow, that's we don't have for sure know what the plans are. But the bad thing is, is a couple people want to ride with us tomorrow. But if we go up to the highway, we're already going to be halfway there. We'd have to find a meeting place for them. We're not going to come all the way down to Laconia, Laconia, and then turn around and drive no, back up know. there. So I don't know where they're meeting. They'll have to figure it out if they want to come with us. If not, just 
Rod will be riding with us. He wants to go tomorrow. He doesn't like to ride in a group, so he, he said he had things to do. His bike didn't start the other day, and he ended up finding he had a bad wire on it. He fixed that. His ground, it only had one but strand of But he's kind of, of afraid to go someplace and if it breaks down. So he's so, got our charger. He says, I got it well, my a jump pen. start. <laughs> it's just in case. So, yeah. But hopefully it's, that's all it was. He found a few dirty connections. He said he cleaned all them up, fixed his ground. And, so hopefully that's all it was. Yeah. So, yeah, so not too bad. Uh, I think that's probably one of the reasons this doesn't feel like a rally is because... I don't know. What? Button it all the way up then. They don't want to see it. <laughs> they said don't turn around or it'll be a different kind of YouTube broadcast. That one won't snap. I guess it's snap. There, I'll pull it up. You can unsnap them and snap them at the same time. There you go. There, is that better? And uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, it's not a bad place here. But like I say, definitely, wait till you see the inside. If you've never been here, we film the inside. It's really neat inside the bar. They've got a lot of, they got a deck out front. They got parking lot all the way around the building. They got a campground next door. Probably great to stay at this campground. Probably a real party in place. Uh, they, we actually drove through there, so you'll get to see what that is. I guess they wanted to get us all off the road, so they, we did a loop through the campground and came in and back in here. And then they had a place for us all to park here on the side. It was pretty nice. It was a very good ride. Hey, Matt, because I kept going like this because the spring was. I guess if I turned around, uh, I'd have a wet t-shirt contest. She's got a wet t-shirt, but she hasn't put them on yet. She's thinking about doing some skinny dipping in the creek down here, well, back where we're at. They said the water is ice cold. It's, uh, they said it's... Titillating. 100% pure water. Like I guess said it's people like, come there and drink and put in jugs and drink. I wouldn't and do take that. It home. Well, they I'd said rather do a filter. There's nothing but. up there. There's really not much residential and there's no commercial, no industry, nothing up there. And they say some of the big hotels are supposed to come there and just fill up 55 gallon barrels out of it. I don't know. We're going to go look at it. Hopefully we'll remember before we leave. And uh, I don't think I'll drink any of the water. But if I had one of them straws, I would. But. Your special straw? Yeah. Open Mind said that was puppy abuse. What? Open Mind said it was puppy abuse. I guess what? buttoned up my shirt. People were complaining. We're trying to keep everybody happy. The writer X said he thought he was a picky eater before he met you. He says you redefined the word picky. Well, what you would do is there's too many places. Like I've come to places like this and I order something. Well, it's just like we ordered the fish the other day. Oh, that was. And it looked like the fish was inside the other fish. There's scales and everything. It looked like they forgot to skin it. And then it, it, maybe another fish ate a fish and it was inside it. It was gross. But I mean, that that's what you come to restaurants like this that doesn't sell a lot of bar food. And you run into things like that. And we've run into restaurants too. You, you order like spaghetti and it ends up being uh, like a wine sauce where I'm not a wine drinker and I don't care for that vinegary taste. So it's not what I wanted. And... You know, so I don't want to deal with all that. You stick with food. So he just gets a hamburger and he's happy. It's food. I told you before. Two things I wish I didn't have to do: eat and go to the bathroom. If I could get rid of those two things, I would be a happy if you camper. Didn't eat, you wouldn't have to go to the bathroom. I wouldn't live very long. As <laughs> spice is on. As spice is on. And 9 millimeter James is back. He was on the other day. I know, but I mean, I don't know how long he was blocked. How, far, how long would you block 9mm things? Sorry about that. Well, when they're coming through with those trolls are coming through, and hopefully we got it fixed now because I put a lot of keywords in that will stop. So if you put a video, if you put a comment in and it gets blocked, you might have used one of my keywords. So go back and take a couple words out and then repost it. Seven months he's been blocked. Hey, you should have said something a long time ago. <laughs> Sorry. You probably got blocked back when we got spammed that first time. Maybe. That Friday night. Well, because sometimes I try to, and I know I've seen a few people that I've blocked, but I've tried, so I that's why we, them, and That's why I've said, if you're, because I went through there, and there's some <laughs> other names, I don't know them, but they look like regular names, and, uh, but we have to watch, you, you can't even, because YouTube's really strict. Even if you try to be funny, you could be insulting somebody, and... YouTube can penalize us on that too. So, 
that's why some of the some of our monitors have took some people blocked some of their messages because they're feeling that it feels like it's not something that should be said but I mean it was more of a like a joke uh, once in a while I'll open it back up and let them come back on but if not I just leave that message is blocked it's not that most of the time they can only put you in timeout but um, one of the monitors that said the other day uh, a couple of them came up and said they could block them so I, I have no idea why one does one you could probably Google it get a YouTube video find out why yeah or how it works if you figure out YouTube let us know because we haven't figured them out yet. Yeah, there's a new video right now I kind of watched it the other day but it ended up being more on shorts about how to figure out how they're doing the algorithms well, I just looked at Amsoil oil Adam and we're actually about a hundred ahead of him today but his video yesterday did like 10,000 views and I'm like it was it was it was a good video, but I mean it wasn't anything that blew ours off Give the door. But I put mine in later in the day. So today I put it out before he put his out. Yeah, I know. Thirty-five people watching. I've we'll see how that 36. turns out. We'll see how the video 35. turns out at the end of the day. Thirty-six. It keeps going back and forth. <laughs> so I don't know. And we'll only see three chatting. <laughs> I just watch on TV, so I don't get to comment much. I know. That's what he does. If we're watching on TV, he's got his phone in his lap. Yeah, if I want to comment, I go I have to pull my phone back out. So. And then go to your library and you hit the thing and it brings you right up back up where you were at and then type your comment in. And then I just actually then I get credit for that person I'm watching gets credit for two things running at the same time. Somebody else, I think uh, Robert Aguilera does that. He says, I'm watching on my computer, TV, and my phone. So he says, I'm giving you, he's giving us three thumbs up for yeah. two at least. I think on uh, the If you use the same email, it's the same thumbs up for all of them. You have to have different login emails. But if you're watching it on different devices, we get credit for it. Uh, Ryder X says, YouTube just updated the app. So if you watch on a TV, you can still use chat using your phone. Oh, We've always well, done that. But, Use the chat on your phone. Yeah. Well, some people said they can do some stuff on their TV. TV. But, see, you can also get a subscription. If you pay for the YouTube subscription where you can watch TV shows and all that, everybody's going now to Internet TV. Right to you get no commercials then. So we get paid for that when you watch the video. Like you watch the commercials. So it's kind of neat. I'm not saying you should do that, but... Uh, we might eventually do it with our cable that we have at home. Yeah. It's getting so trying to get it's up to fifty-five bucks a month now, I think. So, like, where Ryder X watches us, because he's a subscriber to YouTube TV, he doesn't get any commercials when he watches us. So, if you don't want any commercials, and then we still get credit for him watching us through YouTube subscription for the time. Yes. Something like so, that. So, just ways that you can help us out and. And then you guys don't have to get yeah, stuff plus you get TV. And you know what? If you got good internet at home. See, what we like about it is we have, I guess it's back to Direct TV now. Yeah, Direct TV true. now, where you it, it's satellite stuff that you're watching. So any place you have uh, internet, you can watch TV. So we can watch, but the bad thing is it's set up for our Arizona house, so we only get Arizona news. I can't get any, any they were fixing it to where they wouldn't even, they were blocking it out. When we were in like Florida last year, they wouldn't let us watch Arizona stuff. Now they're letting us do it again. So I have to go on the internet. If like right now we're watching Channel 12 News from New York. That's as close as we can get. Yeah. But I mean it's all right. It kind of talks about the whole general area. We're looking for more looking for weather updates, things like Thanks, that. Thanks, Mo. Mo says he watch. We make everything funny. Also watches from TV and comments on his phone. And then uh, open mind said we're great to hang with. And he told us things. So yep. So. Pretty He's exciting. Direct has right Direct TV too now. He's got both. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have both, but uh, we might eventually go to a TV. Like you know, I kind of looked at Paramount Plus, uh, some of the other ones. But you know, everything's getting more expensive. It's just like a satellite that uh, Elon Musk. He was going to come out with that new satellite. Well, everybody kept saying it was only going to be twenty-five dollars a month. I'm like, well, that's a great deal. I think he's up to one hundred and fifty bucks now a month. Well, that ain't no freaking deal. And then they said the more people that get on, the slower it's going to get. So I said, I thought that was the whole idea is if you went with his internet TV or his internet service, you would have, as long as you had a clear sky, you could, you'd have like 5,000 megabytes coming up and down. Well, now I'm hearing people are all over the spectrum. They could have 10, they could have 150, they could have 300. That's what, that's what we have at home. And I pay about 150 bucks a month now. And, but I can't take it with us. But I don't know how hard 
some YouTubers are, are that are not YouTubers. Some RVers are saying they're able to take it on the road. I'm thinking that girl is behind us. That's what she had. Because that's what it is. It's a flat disc. Oh, I mean, I seen a picture oh, okay. of it. Oh, the girl that we didn't. We thought maybe it was sure. a she, a he, she. I think it was. But just because he went. Nice. Hey, how you doing, guys? I'm the new chick next well, door. That's, no, that's not how she talked. No, she didn't. She uh, looked manly. Yes, yeah, she did. She just had broad shoulders and. Just like a football player. Like the girl the other day that had the Adam's apple. We've seen her again. i seen her at the dealership. I did too. I was going to tell you that. I saw her too. If you guys look at the, the live, you might have seen her again. We're still Leo's trying to turn. on. There he is. Stay there. Because I don't know who I was talking to. Who was we with that day that I said something to them and they're like, ooh. Oh, yeah. uh, we were at Speeds that day. Oh. Ooh. It must have been Speeds that was looking at her then. Because he was like, oh, I didn't know. Oh, he's got us on. <laughs> hey there. And uh, look, we got people watching us. Right here watching us. How about that? <laughs> if we wonder if we'd run into you, we follow you. We're subscribers. Right. Hey, thank well, you, thank we'll you. We'll give you guys some, uh, well, here it is. Give some stickers. Some stickers. And, uh, so, yeah. There you go. We'll give you guys some stickers. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a picture with you when we get off here. She don't if forget. If you're still here. Yep. We ain't gonna be on that long today. No. And on we gotta minutes. get back. And I'd like to go down and see the ocean from here, but I mean, we've seen the Atlantic Ocean at the end of the world. But we've never seen it this not far up. Maine. Yeah, we never seen it this far up. As far as we've seen is uh, South Carolina, the Myrtle Where Beach. Where did uh, JFK Jr. go down at? Was that up here in Maine? I have no idea. Was out over the ocean? No I don't idea. know. You think you'll see a marker out there? Well, I don't know. Somebody says he's not really dead either, just like Elvis. I don't know. Alright, let me see. Oh, Raptor Ranch is on. Hey there. From northern Wisconsin. How about that? Is it still 100 degrees? <laughs> huh? They're breaking into Bob and Mike's mini market van. They're still in the liquor. He must have forgot to turn his alarm off when he opened his side door. <laughs> what? Nine millimeter. James says if, it, if I don't come in, maybe he won't go back to jail. <laughs> All you gotta do is, I don't know why you didn't email this sooner. I don't know. I, are, are you the one that went to the Jackal Council? You answered the other day. You I know, but I don't think he answered. If he did, I didn't see it. So, uh, Fiddler 385's on from North Carolina. Liquor. <laughs> liquor? Liquor who? <laughs> he should be right or X rated. <laughs> Triple X. Here's this girl gonna walk Same behind nine us. Nine says yes. <laughs> the girl on this side was the one that I said wasn't the prettiest girl in, in the house. Oh, she went that way now. I don't know, I guess you can't smoke in here. They're going out there to have a smoke. Oh. I guess that's what they're doing yeah. right there to that tent. Well, well, usually if you're outside, because we're out like on the patio, you think you can smoke out Look, here. Look, giving away hats. <laughs> I direct what? X-rated. <laughs> you should be, well, you can't put that behind your name because that's one of my things that you get boycotted for if you put triple X's That's up. what I thought, James. Has it been that oh, long? giving hats away. Why don't they give me a hat? A hat for what? They're giving baseball hats away. We give it away. Where? I the guy straight ahead, that. behind this guy says F-U shirt. There's a guy with a bunch of hats. If you don't get over there soon enough. They'll probably be gone by the time she gets there. She don't see anything like that. She's, I'm like, the guy's right there. Where? Right there. Right there. Where? Now there's like 10 guys in front of her, so now she doesn't see him. Now she's asking, where's the guy at? It's always easier for a girl to get something for free than for me to run over there and try to get something for free. So we'll see if she gets me a hat. Which actually is a hat we'll give away to you guys. So we got some things up. Would you guys like to have a 2022 Bentley catalog or Bentley calendar? We're giving those away inside for free. But heck, the year's almost over. Time we give it away in searches. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if there's girls in it or not. I'll have to look at it. But we got some stickers for Laconia, bumper stickers that we're gonna give away. Got uh, like six of them. Uh, we got t-shirts from, uh, what rally did we go to? But we got t-shirts to give away uh, for two of the rallies that we picked up. And uh, so that'll be neat. We get, those will be given away soon. And so we're just trying to pick stuff up. Uh, maybe we'll do some of maybe some of that giveaway we'll give away at our meet and greet in Sturgis. Then we don't have to pay to ship it. That might be an idea. So, I'm not answering any comments because she's got a, and I don't have my glasses on. I brought my foldy ones and not my better ones, my rubber glasses. 
So, I don't know. She's still trying to find a, a free hat. But Jasmine Kane don't play very long. She already stopped again. She stopped like three times now. Oh, she's talking. And uh, so, I don't know. I think they're gone now. I think this is the guy that was giving away the shirts. This big guy. So, I mean, a lot of people left. Probably half the people that were here when we came in on the ride have left. But, I mean, this is what, Tuesday? So, how many people are hanging out at a bar on a Tuesday? So, she's still looking. I don't know. She's probably chasing somebody down. Let me look at the comments. I don't know. Oh, here she comes. Uh, she got a hat. I don't think it's the one they were giving away. The ones they were giving away were camouflaged. You didn't get the camouflage one, did you? No. They had camouflage ones. I know. I'm just they told me the guy to go run and see. Oh my gosh. Are you happy now? It's not for me. It's for them. Oh. Are you going to give it away? Yes. She's scolding you guys. She went to all that hard work, and then she's mad. Are you happy now? It's not for me, it's for you. They said, oh, you gotta get that guy. Oh, it's that guy over there. Oh, you gotta follow him. And I'm like, holy cow, who's giving away the hats? I don't think that's the same hat those guys had in their hand. I know, it was camouflage hats. I know, but I don't think it's a twisted uh, T. I don't know what it said on They it. told me I had to chase the guy down that had the twisted T headband uh, on. It wasn't your buddy? No, it was the guy who was sitting with him when he was I don't there. know, is the bike gone yet? Can't see the wall. Can't see. The bike might be gone. Let me go look. Jeez, uh. he almost fell. <laughs> so what did I miss? <laughs> that's what I guess. That's what's up there. I've been at St. Pro HD. The 8th annual, around 92 days. The rich friend up to Wausau and then down to Plainville. No, he's still here. Who? The Twisted Tea guy. Oh. He sounds like that guy on like one of the TV commercials or something. Oh. The guy from Twisted Tea. Gotta get him to talk to us. You know the bike's rumbling there. I'm trying to find parking spots. What are you supposed to say? I guess <laughs> I said it right. Poker in the rear and liquor in the front. We're playing poker in the back and liquor in the front. That's it. We do that at our poker night. Poker night. Poker night. <laughs> Neil sounds like a fun ride. Did Neil uh, ever come on? <laughs> uh, Neil's on, yeah. He oh. finally came on. I told him we were live. From Compton, California. Compton? Um, okay, that's what he says. I didn't know. If, or, that's what? not where he lives. How do you know? Who is it that's on? Brian. Maybe Brett, he's, Brettington. Maybe he's a truck driver or something. I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to see what you'd say if he said he was from Compton. <laughs> I've been I in Compton. We have, the gas company has an office there. I actually stood out front and picketed it when we were on strike with the union. I thought he lived in Colorado, unless it's a different Brian I'm picking out. Oh, he's is working. that the guy that he's gave it? Now he's giving scarves away. Yeah. The guy in the blue shirt? Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't the guy that was giving away the camouflage. I told you. Because the guy, he had three in his hand. Oh, did he really? I said, are you giving away hats? He's like, no, that guy over there is. And he's, now I went to him and he's like, oh no, it's that guy in the headband. And I'm like, holy cow. I had to run all over. I don't know. How long have we been on? Uh, 48 minutes. Oh, Neil wrote a big thing. Wrapped his stuff to see relatives and then clapped me in 29th for from the sure just back home to Alaska. The moose hunt. So we're going to have an update here maybe in the next couple days about some of the lodging in Sturgis. Neil gave us some information too. And uh, so. we also found uh, uh, the basement, the guy that rents the basement out. He still has it available. Uh, not a bad price there either. No, and, and you don't uh, have to rent it for the whole rally. A lot of plus places. you have air conditioning and shower uh, garage, and uh, put your bike in. in. Don't have to worry about that hail damage. Oh yeah, he was. He told me that's where he was. He's outside hurrying up mowing his grass. He said, because I don't want it to happen what happened in Belfuse. Snowed? No, they got softball sized hail for like an hour. It happens he, in Sturgis. He said it. Sturgis is the craziest place because Two miles away, there could be a tornado, and the, the other two basement. miles is is sunny and not a cloud in the sky. It's the weirdest he weather. He told you about it last night, Brother X. He said, is it the whole basement? You get, there's two bedrooms, so you can either rent both bedrooms. When we went, we went with Art. Art had his bedroom, we had our bedroom. And then they the Bedrooms have, are pretty big. They're, they're queen size bed, but you can put a king size bed. He's got a dresser in there, but it's a girl's room. But I mean, they don't look like girls' rooms. And they've got a... Stand-up show. they got a bathroom. They've got a bathroom that you get to use that they don't use while you're there. 
And then they've got a washer and dryer right there that they let use their washer the and dryer. And then upstairs in the garage they have a refrigerator. refrigerator. They said you can put whatever you want in there. And then the people lived with them last year or stayed with them. They, I, we, he was on the phone with them and they asked, they said, can we uh, come up here and cook some food? And he said, sure, come on up. Well, he's the nicest guy in the world. And then he also lets you, he take, he keeps his cars out and lets you put your bikes in the garage. Yep. You can't ask for any better. No. Nope. But it is in Rapid City. So you're, you're on that side. And we stayed there one year and we wanted to be closer to, you know, the Buffalo Chip and the Full Throttle and all that. And that's why we didn't stay there again. Now, before the rally, that's where we're going to be. For the fir first month, we're going to be in Rapid City. Stay. And uh, we, go, we go out to dinner with him and everything. He's the greatest guy in the world. He is. And, and his uh, wife, he's got two daughters. I don't know if the one a, moved out or not. No, I don't think they did. She's a school teacher, isn't she? Yeah, Marissa's. And a very nice, he works at a hardware store. Uh, he's a salesman for like uh, construction workers and stuff. Sells them their stuff. So uh, pretty neat. And they're great people. And uh, what do you say it was that? Well, we're not going to talk about it. We, yeah, we want to do that. Say. We're going to do that on, on uh, we're going to do a regular video. I don't want to do it on a live. And then uh, Neil gave us a whole bunch of information about the campground. They got a deal on a, on an RV that you can rent, which you is might an be, excellent price. If that's what he said. So if you're a couple, you might share the basement with another couple. Could or you share it with a single guy. Yeah. There's no there's no way of knowing who's going to be there unless you're bringing somebody with you. But I mean, like if a group of guys were going, or two guys are going, and they use, both want your own room. But I mean, we didn't have any trouble with Art using the bathroom and stuff. He Art pretty much takes his shower in the morning, and we, we take, take our showers at night. At night. And uh, we, I, I think she got in there in there in the morning first before he got up, or did Art get up? I guess Art got did Art get up before us? I don't know. I don't remember. We never had any trouble Art. getting out of the bathroom. It takes a long time to get up. Yes, probably like, longer than I do. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing in there. We don't want to know what he's doing no, in there. No, it is. Uh, he's as bad as some of our, our grandsons. Joe Casey's on. Uh, Neil says he heard a lady on Johnson Street Road has space for campers and tents. It's just outside of Sturgis on the other side of I-90. But is it all boondocking? Is, or that, that, is that the lady that that girl, what's her, that lady's name? Vixen. Yeah, that she's doing the videos on. I think it's kind of high. 40 bucks, because she came on our channel. And uh, I talked about it. She didn't come on the channel. I talked about it on a live. I didn't realize it was the same person she was talking about. But I mean, the lady charges forty yes, bucks for a tent. Yes. Forty bucks for the tent. She sometimes cooks, sometimes not. There's no guarantee you're going to get anything. If she's got some liquor on the can, you can have that. But if she doesn't have anything on hand, you don't get anything. But for forty bucks, that's kind of high, just for a tent spot. Well, Neil said that. Look, for a hundred and fifty bucks, yeah. you can stay the whole time where Neil's at, and. For the whole rally. Yeah, so because you, it's uh, R200 for you get a pavilion yeah, and electric. Huh? That's so, the one and I like. How many $40 do you have to spend? So if you were going to stay there for five days, 40 bucks, that's $200, yeah, that's $200 right $200. there. Just and there's days. no guarantee you're going to have electric. And I don't know. I I thought it was a pretty good deal. And then, which it is, there's a lot of 10 spots you when we get off. that you can get for 10 or 20 bucks a day. And a lot of the yards do that. And uh, now she didn't offer showers, I don't think. I think she had some porta potties out there, but I, she was wanting you to go down, I think, to the, the community, center. community center and pay for that. So that's more money out of your pocket now you got to spend. And I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure she didn't have any showers. She wasn't letting you go in her house. Uh, Neil said, thanks, Bob. That's very true. And uh, so... Ghost Rider's waving. Are you leaving, Ghost Rider? Are you just saying hi to everybody? So it depends on what you want to do. 44 on. You know, some people go to that lady's house, I guess has been going there for years, and that's why she's got spots left, because some people didn't rebook this year. And there's a lot of people that are canceling, I guess, because of the gas. They don't want to come up now. Uh, heck yeah, if somebody's not making a lot of money and you got to drive your car every day to work, you're probably really hurting right now. And uh, so to have that extra expense of coming to Sturgis, but the bad news is most places where your reservation's at, you're not getting your money back, and most of them aren't going to roll it over to next year. You're going to lose yeah, if, that. If it's just because of gas prices, I don't think they will. No. With the pandemic, they did. But I don't. But some think... still didn't even do it during that time. Yeah, I but, did, but not. But everybody. typically, most of the places, if you're not canceled by like June 1st, then you can't cancel. And some of them, like if you're at the Buffalo Chip, you can call Carol, and if she approves it, then you can do it. 
but that's like I tell people, there's there's a guy right now that's had it for two years ago when COVID first came out, and he's rolled it over, and he's still wanting full price of what they're selling the tickets for today. I'm like, dude, do you want to get rid of it? And then I went back and looked at it. He's been trying to sell this for almost a year now, and every time this, the Buffalo Chip raises the price, he raises it. So he wants $400 for each ticket to Camp Camp, and then he's got a porta potty that he wants another 100 bucks for. So it's like, why would I just not call the Buffalo Chip and get it from them? I'm not saving any money buying it from this clown. And he bought it two years ago, and the price was cheaper then. He's screwing you guys. So when you're looking at these deals, See, that's why nobody's you, bought it. Probably, but nobody's telling him that. I'm like, dude, you're down to the countdown. Well, it's kind of like what we did with calling our friend up. He still got his basement. If you ain't got stuff rented out now, you're running out of time. Because this year, I think there's going to be more people that that. We're kind of teetering right now that might decide they're not going to go. Now, somebody like Ryder X might decide he might go if he he's can find a decent place. It. Because he's, he's got his bike, he's fixing his bike up. And, uh, but, but, the, but I mean, he's a single guy. I don't know if he's going to bring his wife along or not. But he might come by himself. I don't know what he's going to do. Wait, I mean, there's the a lot of guys. Talk to? What? The guy we were no, just Ryder talking to? No, Ryder X. Oh. I don't yeah, know, I don't know, know if he'll he come or not. And then, uh, um, uh, I was gonna say, there's a bunch of people that are riding up. Somebody I just seen on Facebook the other day said they're coming up from Florida looking for anybody that wants to ride along. You can meet somebody like that along the way. Hook up with uh, Ken. Ken's coming from Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know which route he's taking. You can ride with the Badgers. Yeah, the Badgers are going coming up. Coming out of Jacksonville or something. Yeah. Live in Jacksonville. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you go with Mama Jack, Mama Badger, and Baby Badger, and Daddy Badger. Badger. <laughs> uh, it's no mad pilot. Nice no mad pilots coming from. Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. So. Yeah, Mike's yeah. coming from Phoenix, but that's on the other side. Yeah. And Neil comes from Wisconsin. Somebody emailed me this morning. They're actually leaving. They got property uh, right next to the Buffalo Chip. It's probably the same guy we met last year. But he's coming up he lives in three Arizona days before. Too. Yeah, he lives in Bullhead. I know. What that's guy the same is this? Guy. We met him when we were getting our license plates, remember? He says, I talked to you guys, and he said he's the one that bought the last lot out there. Oh. Okay. That's him. All right. And then he says, oh, yeah, I live in Bullhead, okay. too. You remember now? Yeah, I do. But he texted me. He's, got, he's getting there three days before us. I can't remember people's names. The day I remember people's names, you better worry. <laughs> the day I start forgetting names, you better worry. <laughs> I'll just be going, bud, dude, come here. <laughs> that one guy. We, we, we used to DJ weddings, and one year we had like almost 300 jobs we did. And I talked to all, when we did weddings, I talked to all the brides. Most of the, if it's just a party, I didn't really bring them in the office and talk to them and stuff. And so these people would see us around town, and they're like, hey, Mom and Dad, our wedding was just great. And I'm like, who, who the that? hell was that? That was so-and-so. That was the Dick Houses. Oh, okay. Well, we did like 20 people in their family. Their, their wedding. wedding was in June, and they had it at the KC Hall. I knew all the details, and he didn't even know their name. So this has been going on a long time. What? <laughs> You're not knowing who anybody is. Well, also, I, I, I can't. It's just like names. I can't. I can't always tell you that cars are a little different, but when I worked for the gas company, I had to work on furnace and stuff like that. I couldn't tell you every single name of all the parts, but I could tell you what every one of those parts did and, and how they worked and how to test them. Why do I need to know the name? You know, nowadays you go into a parts catalog and you look at a picture and you pick what you want. Don't forget to give it so, a thumbs up, Neil says. I think yeah. it's over here. It's right there. There. Push it this way. <clears throat> it's All right. It's white. 58 minutes. All right, you got two minutes. Okay. Wrap your show up. <laughs> I'll say my spiel so he has two more minutes to talk. Thanks for coming along today. We hope you enjoyed our video. Oh, it's wrong part. <laughs> this is a live. It was great hanging out with all you guys. I haven't had nothing to drink. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share it with your family and friends. Think about Patreon. Give us a big <laughs> ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see her when she thought the, the, the screen was upside down the other day? It was. And I'm like, it's not going to be upside down when it edits. If it's it is, I can turn ahead, it upside go down. Go ahead and talk. I'm no, like, I have to look at it. it on our now you see what I live with. This is, I, I told this, them. This, would this you rather? Her.
have this is her normal. Dingy, or would you rather have a beep? Your yeah. choice. They don't know the other half either. So all you guys have met me, I've been, that's the way I am. Well, yeah, but there's other things about you they don't know. So, yeah. Say goodbye. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're going to wrap it up today, and uh, what's tomorrow? Uh, I don't know if we'll do a live or not uh, tomorrow. Could be around the same time. Look, we got an <laughs> applauding audience. We're heading off for the day, and uh, we got to go back. we got about a two and a half hour ride back. She wants to stop on the way back, so. Somewhere we'll halfway. So, with that, you got a couple more comments just came up. Oh, uh, telling you bye. Nightmare bye. James says she's not boring. Yeah, see, he was with us a whole night. And uh, Ryder X says, or what, half what? A witch with a B. Uh, Raptor Ranch says, be safe, everybody. We will. We'll see y'all next time. Yep, and uh, no video tonight because it came out this morning. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it now. You gotta get it up there. I want, to, I want 10,000 views before seven o'clock tonight. Share it with everybody you know and tell right. them to share it. Yes. Watch it. Just don't share it. Watch it. Just put it on your phone and throw it down. You don't have to really watch it. Just give me credit. You done? done? Yes. I guess. Bye. Neil wave. says bye. Wave bye. Bye, Neil. Bye, Ryder X. Bye, 9mm.